Ledley Gloninger finally talked me into buying a laptop computer uh, when he saw me using glue and scissors, pasting and cutting, doing a mock-up for a screenplay. said a word processor would probably behoove me, either that or a typist who can lap dance. And so the warped idea got into my brain that maybe I could convert one of my old typewriters so that it would be able to jack into uh, the laptop. This guy, Eric Fitzpatrick, did it here, but way too labor-intensive, all so that his wife's carpal tunnel syndrome would be eased, as there's less resistance when you use a typewriter. Joel Zahn did it with an Underwood number 5, but what he ended up with is actually a computer that looks like a typewriter. Beautiful, though, ingenious. And Andrew Lehman is an insane uh, prop guy from Hollywood. He turned out his electric clerk. All I did was take a rubbing of a keyboard, build a box that the typewriter could sit on top of, and voila, the Underwood number no. 5 prototype, the very first hybrid that I made, uh, doesn't accept a hard copy. The computer or laptop sits right on top, but it's very effective nonetheless. Not the most pretty thing, but function over form has always been my motto. And then the Olivetti Underwood Studio 44 is just a dream come true from 1965. Got the original paperwork. Thing was never used. I had to work the thing. Felt like I used a rowing machine when I was done. And this actually shows exactly what I did, how the box is made. The beauty of it is, is if the keyboard fails, you just swap it out and replace it with one just like it. And use shims to fit it snug in place. The Olivetti Underwood Letter 32 is my travel model. Bow chicka bow bow. Ready to go at the drop of a hat. As long as gas isn't too expensive, we're off to the mountains. And we have a removable table that the typewriter sits upon. Take it out with clickety-clack, serenade some bears. Uh, the Olympia Monica Deluxe is the most beautiful typewriter in the history. Actually, it's uh, a cogwheel broke, and during my research to find a part, turns out it's known as the writer's typewriter. And here you can see on the left-hand side, I took some old Scrabble crossword cubes and turned them into the tab and the cap lock keys, as all of these hybrid conversions need new keys. The 1923 Royal, however, is my favorite, my latest, and it really has the charisma and the clickety-clack that I've been looking for in any typewriter. It's just makes you feel like you're back in that era, yet there you are typing away uh, with Microsoft Word or Open Office program. Everything's saved on your laptop. And yes, you do get a hard copy. So I am one happy camper. Welcome to the 21st century.